We asked our online users to submit questions for us to put to Environment Minister Sammy Wilson. And he kindly agreed to take time out of his busy schedule to come into our digital department to answer those questions. Um, I thought we'd just start off, Sammy, actually, obviously, these are questions that have been sent in from a lot of our yep. internet users. Um, and to, to start off on a topical, topical point, um, we have a question here from Brian Wilson from Newton Abbey, um, just about the European election result. Uh, the DUP lost a lot of votes to Jim Allister. What can the party do to win back those votes in future elections? Well, I think, I mean, first of all, I accept it was a disappointing result from the party's point of view. Um, and we did lose uh, votes to Jim Allister uh, for a number of reasons. I mean, I'm not so sure that it's all to do with the fact that we were uh, in storm and operating the Assembly, though he did play uh, somewhat on that and probably will claim that this is a kind of an anti-devolution vote. Uh, I'm not so sure that that is the sole reason for the movement. I mean, it was an election fought in the worst possible circumstances. There was all of the expenses row, and you know, being the largest party, I suppose a lot of the flack was directed um, at us. Uh, Jim Allister was a sitting MEP and had all of the the five years behind him there, and the opportunities which that gave to appeal to the electorate. Um, and we were putting a, a new candidate forward. Uh, but I mean, what can we do to when those, well, I think the first thing is that I mean, the one thing I've found, and especially more recently in politics, is that people want to see uh, their politicians delivering for them. And therefore, I think that the first thing we've got to do is to ensure that we use the Assembly to address the issues which concern our constituents, especially now we're going through a very difficult time as far as the economy is concerned, um, and to try and uh, find resolutions to many of the issues which will impact on constituents' lives. Uh, so that's the first thing. I think that the second thing is that we uh, need to highlight the inadequacies of Jim Allister's own case, that uh, he would want us to go back to a situation of direct rule where we were ruled jointly by London and Dublin, where Sinn Féin were getting concessions every day, where there was no block on Sinn Féin's ambitions and Sinn Féin's promotion of its own policies and where unionism was really on the back foot and you know I, I think that uh, if people begin to realise actually what Jim Allister's alternative is and of course there wasn't much uh, of an opportunity during the last election to discuss this because it was taken up with all of those other um, kind of expenses issues etc. And I think that once people begin to realise that they'll realise that really the alternative of going back to a situation where uh, Sinn Féin could knock on the door of Downing Street or the door of the Doyle, get whatever it wanted and unions were sidelined is not really a situation that people will want to go to. So th there's many positive things uh, from devolution. There are many negative things from the kind of direct rule scenario that Jim Allister would want to take us back to. And of course the other thing we've got to do and that, that is to be out on the ground working for people on a day, -to -day and daily basis.